Hello and welcome to Fishing Barrens Sea. It's made by the same people that made Fishing North Atlantic. This is actually their first game. It's a commercial fishing simulator game. Uh, you can see that my male character has the skin for having a trawler. Even though you don't really see your character model, it doesn't really matter. What would be a good name? Delay Layer. I don't know. Begin game. So I've played like 70 some odd hours of it. I'm going to get some good old fashioned baits hooked with redfish. Well, with creel so I can get redfish. This is a starting area of Hammerfest. I believe this is set in Norway. Yeah, because that's in Norwegian currency of Kroner. I think I'll go here for my fish. I don't know why. I just prefer this game more than fishing North Atlantic. Something about it. Different appeal, I guess. I guess I just like the style. Like, this is more realistic looking water to me. Now, this game <laughs> can be a little buggy. I recorded an episode yesterday. The reason why I'm using this and not that is because what we have decided not to record desktop audio is that <laughs> I was catching some fish and the buoy just sprung into the air and went really fast. And since I was in the middle of hauling it, it was pulling my boat backward. At like seven knots, which is, I don't know how many miles, but probably around nine to 10. And keep in mind, I was in the neutral state. Well, and I do have the DLCs for more line and net fishing boats. And then the King Crab DLC. Right now, I think the game is on sale for like seven bucks. And it's like normally close to 40. Now I have to burn time to get this to 18 hours so that because that's the proper time for them to sit in the water before you catch the fish. The reason why I went with redfish is because it's a decent amount of money per kilogram. The reason why I didn't do the tutorial is because it's basically do what I'm doing now. Go to a certain area of the map, set some lines out, catch the fish. That's it. Oh, and 15 is the maximum of fish that you can have on any line for the minigame. So this is a full line, but it appears to be all redfish. Well, it makes sense. The bait I used was targeted for them. So yeah, and my boat is drifting. What fish are you? It's a pollock. And the better you hit the fish, the better the score is. Like, I think it gives you that additional percentage in weight. So if I get plus 50%, that's an additional 50% of weight. I don't know, that could be horribly wrong. I don't know why I love it when the thing, like the bucket for the fish overflows. <laughs> I don't know why. And soon, like in September, the game, it's cod season, which I don't know why it spun me around. That's a big old boat over here. There we go, get this line. Yes, please. How full is this line? Another 15. Oh, and the way the- oh, he's a cod even though it's out of season. Oops. The way the minigame works is the better you hit, the better. The more percent you get for the weight. If you miss the fish, it reset, resets the streak. If it's a an okay, it keeps the streak, but it doesn't change it. If it's an okay, it's a plus three. And then if it's a perfect, it five percent i used to play this game a lot on my playstation i probably had several hundred hours on that like one day i just played it for eight hours straight unintentionally I'm like okay i'll probably play it for like three or four then you know i'll go record a video or whatever and then it was like i started playing at like i don't know noon or 12 30 and then it was like 7 30. <laughs> it was like uh oh i'm wasting my whole, whole day again Time to gut the fish. I don't really care for gutting the fish. That was an okay gut. The better you do on the gutting, the more the you can sell the flay for, I think. And if you get below a two star rating, you don't get any money. Like at all. Now this game is all about the grind. Like once you get the big the best boat, you're good. Uh I'll probably buy a better hook. Or a knife because that's a a better cut and b bigger fish so i guess i'll go with haddock which are over here which is on my 250 hook oh if you ever hear me say 250 hook and 25 meter it's the same thing it's a 25 meter long line 
that is 250 hooks, which is what's one every 10 centimeters or is that every 100? And then set on my 500 hook. You can get some lines that are a kilometer long, which is a stupid amount of fish. <laughs> the longest I can get on this one is 100 meters of so a thousand hooks. Okay. Also, I find it easier to get up with some speed and then set the hook so as the boat slows down, it releases a decent amount on its own and then you're basically done. Like the 25 meter one, that's done instantly, especially if you're a really fast boat. Uh, I guess I'll just go up here, down here, just to burn A gas and B time. I just realized I can later fish for mackerel and trawling. <laughs> so I'm going to be providing people with the bait for their uh, Haddock, I almost said Pollock, those are not the same fish. And if I remember, there's like six ports in this game. There's two here, one, the three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ports. And the different ports give you different missions, different prices for fish. Uh, once you get better reputation, obviously that comes into effect. Like since this is the starting one, I always, I have call myself always just selling at Hammerfest. Even though, like, I'll be up on this part of the map fishing out instead of just going to here, like Senfjord or I think that's someone that's called. I'll go all the way down to Hammerfest. No, oh, don't overshoot, don't overshoot, okay. I was going at a weird angle for a second because I looked down, I somehow went from going this to... Uh, completely 90 degrees the other way. Uh, I think I was hitting a key and didn't realize it. Oh, that's a cod. You can always tell it's a cod because they always spaz out on the hook and start spinning. <laughs> it's just entertaining. I don't know why. This is one of those bugs that I hope the developers never patch because it's... It brings me a little bit of joy in this gloomy excuse of a world we live in. <laughs> now hopefully my boat will be near full capacity of fish. Because I like money. Who doesn't like money? Money. Money in itself can't bring you happiness, but you can buy things that make you happy with that money. Let's see the damage on this thing. So 500... And 60, ooh, that's a decent amount of fish. I'm like, three quarters full. Nice, nice. Ooh, that was a horrible one. I need to get better at going slower. There we go. Oh, I screwed it up at the end. There we go. Almost a four star. One day I will get a perfect five star. I don't think it's really possible on this hook, on a, not hook knife, because it has to do with vibrations or something. There's some sort of secret to it, I, which I do not understand. <laughs> this is gonna be a nice payday. Twenty-three thousand. Oh, see, <laughs> I like money, money, money. Um, what can I buy? I'll go with the better hook. And then I need to beat my hooks first. I'll go for this attic. So attic here. Boop, boop, boop. Fast travel. Yeah, this is a lot of fast traveling in this game. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Slow down. There we go. Okay, I got my 15, which is great. Oh, that hook looks nice. And now I think it's a 2% bonus. On top of their weight, so I think it's whatever this, their weight plus this, and then the extra two percent, or it could be their weight plus two percent, and then that I don't know how that works. Even actually, it really wouldn't matter. Commutative property, after all. Multiplication and addition are weird. Let's see how much weight of fish I have now. Probably not a ton. Ooh, that was okay. Okay, I was expecting it to be. Got an incredible amount. One thing I also like is that the weight of the fish actually makes your boat go slower because obviously physics. The more weight you have, the more force you need to get it moving and stopping. 
So as you accumulate more fish, you need more power to move old weight. Which obviously in turns means you can't move as fast. That's why when you get storage upgrades, you have to it's recommended that you get the engine upgrades to overcome the extra weight. Like you could still move, but it would be ungodly slow. So I think once I accidentally bought the best storage upgrade and not if I got you get the engine upgrade to go with that was like the second or third engine upgrade. So I was moving at like two or three knots at full throttle elbow. So yeah, that was a fun time. And then the waves, you know, if it's super wavy, you'll have to deal with that. And if it's windy, you have to overcome that. Some boats have better uh, handling than others. I mean, if you think about it, they're just water cars. I think the way boats work is by just displacing as much water as possible. And water is heavy. Ooh, that's a nice payday. 26,000. Uh, I think this is enough fishing currency for today. If you enjoyed this video and point, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you happen to be new, and change notifications thanks to all so you always know when I upload my next video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.